Let's roll. <laughs> with manual locks like that it's annoying you do have ac yes ah. the heat doesn't work right now but i think if you kick right if you put a foot right in here that's where the cables are yeah so previously i lost ac because i think a passenger had a foot like right here and it just where the two cables connect uh-huh uh they just moved it so i'm hoping that's what it is with the heat too hmm. windy windows windy windows we're gonna do the windows up ac on nice. just so we can talk to each other okay it doesn't it just gives you neutral drive i'm guessing it's a four speed and drive and overdrive are the same the same point let me make sure my car is locked yeah, I think it is. A there it is. Oh, no, I got sorry. it. I saw the lights go. That's my initial reaction. A 2003 Kia Spectra is more comfortable than a 2007 Honda Fit. Who would have thunk it? Right? There's second gear. Will I get third? I'm not sure if that was a shift or not. I've noticed um, the acceleration. Is this guy gonna cross? Uh, not yet. No. I've noticed the acceleration is markedly better. Um, oh, I should have just got on there. Uh, yeah, well. If you uh, if you release if you release the gas pedal right when it's about to shift and then mash it down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it puts it into the next gear pretty quickly. Ah. Um, so you can actually get a nice little bit of low end power uh, out of that, considering it's like a So you, you release it right when it's gonna shift? Just, yep. That's the thing, like, people wanna complain about these early 2000s Kias and stuff, but, all right. Whoa, what is that guy wow. doing? All right, this is foot on the floor stuff. There's no tachometer, so I don't know. I got, I'm assuming there's a rev limiter, but I don't want to just sit here and just find out where that is. Yeah, it it will it can really over rev actually getting on the highway. Uh, so when you're really mashing it, you have to be a little careful about that. They, they were so cheap in the beginning, and I always mispronounce Hyundai. At your local Hyundai dealer today. Hyundai. I've Hyundai. I've heard it pronounces like seven ways. Hyundai. Well, I think because this shares a chassis with um, some Hyundai or another. I'm not sure what. Hmm. The Elantra. It's interesting how your VIN plate is pop riveted right to the top of the dash. They didn't put it in below the dash on the metal, like on the, uh, the metal part of actually the dash frame. They kept it up there. That makes it a little easier to take it off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, to me, an advantage of this car. You can take it right into North Philly and not worry about anything as uh -huh. far as break-ins or, or, yeah, I, I don't even bother with this. There's uh -huh. gumped up pine sap on there. <laughs> Is your plan just to keep it until it stops running? Yeah, basically. It's not nice enough of a car to have it look good. So mm -hmm. as long as it drives well and the mechanics are good, that's mm -hmm. that's enough for me. Right. Like whatever plastic bigot is rubbing in the back and making that nye, 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 nye sound, it's not worth your time or any money to try to solve that. Is it impeding the car's advancement forward? No? Okay then. <laughs> yep. Oh, this, this thing. You may smell a burning odor during the first few hundred miles of driving. This is normal and will disappear. <laughs> oh, it doesn't please see your Kia deal. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a slow oil leak, but it hasn't hasn't been bad lately. No, it's still, so, yeah.
torque converter feels almost like a high stall torque converter because like I'm in drive, I'm doing this. The car is not accelerating. That's me all the way to the floor. Torque converter, not spinning yet. <laughs> You'd really have to brake stand this thing to make it accelerate. Unless it's already in fourth all the time. If I put it in two, eh, more of the same. Three gauges. Actually, the fact that they gave you a water temperature gauge is nice. I'm going. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's... Because uh... because my, my Toyota Echo had two gauges, fuel and speed, and then just idiot lights. But that's nice that they gave you water temperature. And your cooling temperature is below the halfway point. We were driving in traffic with the air conditioner blowing. It's, it's staying cool. That's something the Falcon does not do.